In today's video, I will teach you how to change the angle or perspective of a building in Photoshop. Let's get started. First, open the image that you would like to edit in Photoshop. In the Layers panel, select the image layer and press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. Now, right-click on a duplicate layer and convert it into Smart Object. Then go to Edit and select Perspective Warp. Once the Perspective Warp tool is activated, make sure that it's set to Layout Mode. Now, lay out a grid at each side of the building. To do this, click on the side where you would like to put the grid, select the control point that you would like to adjust, and drag it to make the grid lines parallel to the lines of the building. To make another grid, just click at the other side of the building and line up the grid lines with the lines on the building. Make sure that one side of the grid is merged with the other grid. To do this, line up the grid lines that you would like to merge and drag the control points to the corner of the grid and it will automatically snap into each other. Once you're done laying out the grid, switch to the Warp mode by clicking on the Warp option beside the Layout option. Now, you can click and drag the points to warp the image. However, this will skew the image instead of changing the perspective. Instead, hold the Shift key and click on the line that you would like to move. This will connect the control points on each side of that line. And when you move one control point, the other control point will move as well. If you would like to restart, you can simply click on the Remove Warp button at the Options bar. Once you're satisfied with your work, you can now press Enter on your keyboard. If there are parts of the image that you would like to fill out, simply click on the layer first and select Convert to Layers. Now, in the toolbar, select the Lasso tool and select the area that you would like to fill in. Then right-click on the selected area and select Content Aware Fill. This will open the Content Aware Fill workspace. Here, Make sure to select only sample areas that you would like to fill in the area on your image. To select sample areas, make sure to select the Sample Brush tool and click on the plus icon at the Options bar. To deselect sample areas, you can switch to the minus icon beside the plus icon. You can see the output on the Preview panel and on the Content Aware Fill panel, you have the option to adjust the opacity, fill settings, and output settings. And once you're satisfied, you can now click Apply and click OK. Now, press Ctrl or Command D on your keyboard to deselect. You can also use the Perspective Warp tool to make your image seem like it was taken with a wide-angle lens. To do this, simply make three grids and switch up to Warp mode. Then hold Shift and select all vertical lines. Now, drag the outer control points to extend the outer part of the image then adjust the middle grid as needed. Once you're satisfied with your work, you can now press Enter on your keyboard. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can get updated whenever we upload new tutorials. 